Hi everybody, welcome to lesson number five. It is finally time to learn our first song. And the song of my choice is A Bad Moon Rising by Credence Clearwater Revival. Now the chances are that you know the song already. I'm pretty sure you have heard it at some point in your life. However, in your worksheet that corresponds to this lesson, there's a link over to YouTube where you can familiarize with the song. Now what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you the beginner version of that song, which will allow you absolutely to play along once you practiced it a little bit. However, it will still sound, well, not exactly like the original, because in the original version, there is just more of a sophisticated strumming going on and we are not there yet. We will be using simple downstrokes only. So basically what we have already covered in the previous lesson. The chords we need for the song are a D major, an A major and a G major. And in a second, I will show you what you need to do in order to play that song. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, time to get started. Now, make sure your guitar is in tune. In lesson 2.5, I showed you how to tune your guitar. And um, I want to make sure that your instrument is ready to go and ready for you to practice our first song. Now, the chords you need, as I had mentioned, was a D major, an A major, and a G major. You should be able to play these chords now. I totally understand that you will still have to practice changing from one chord to another. And this song is a very good exercise to practice these three chords and changing from one to another. What I'm going to do now is, first of all, I'm going to give you a warning. As you hear me singing, you probably want to cover your ears. Now, hopefully it's not that bad, but I am a terrible singer, yet it is important that I at least attempt to sing along as I play so you can follow the song and can follow me along and you know exactly what I'm doing here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play the first line of the first verse. You can follow the worksheet print out your worksheet and just to try to follow along now. One, two, three, four. I see a bad moon rising. I see trouble on the way. That was the first line of the first verse. You see, I'm using a plectrum. I do not want you to use a plectrum at this point. We're going to learn it in a couple of lessons from now on. But the reason why I'm using a plectrum and you shouldn't is I'm taping this video and I want to make sure that you clearly hear um, that you get a good sound quality here and that is just simply much better with a, with a plectrum because the guitar is louder. Please use your thumb for now. Okay, so again, that was the first line of the first verse. Now what I'm going to do is instead of singing along, I'm going to announce the chord changes. Okay, just follow me. One, two, three, Four, D, one, two, three, four, A, G, D, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, D, one, two, three, four, A, G, D, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So the way it goes is you start off with four times the I see the and then you switch into a two times bad G moon two times D four times rising one two three four so what's actually happening here is 
You play the D four times. Two, three, four. Followed by A two times. One, two. G two times. One, two. D eight times. Rising. Four, one, two, three, four. And then it starts over. I see. Four times D, followed by two times A. One, two, followed two times G. One, two, A times D. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's the exact same thing over again. And that pattern continues on the second line of the first verse. So what I'm going to do now is play the whole first verse from the beginning to the end with me singing. So be careful. I don't want to hurt your ears. One, two, three, four. I see the bad moon rising. I see trouble on the way. One, two, three, four. I see Earthquakes and lightning. One, two, three, four. I see bad times today. I hope that was clear. So the pattern is actually fairly simple. It's the same pattern and it, it is being repeated four times. And that is basically the first verse. Now the chorus is a little bit different. The chords you need for the chorus are the same. That's the good news. But the way it goes, and why don't I just play it and again I'm gonna sing along and then we break it down. One, two, three, four. Don't go round tonight. Well, it's bound to take your life. There's a bad moon on the rise. So you start off with a G major. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Total of eight times into D. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Eight times. So G A times, D A times, and then it goes into the A. There's a, that was four times, bad moon on the, four times, D. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So again, it's A times G. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Four, A times D, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Four times A, dun, dun. four times G, one, two, three, four. A times D, one, dun, 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 dun. All right, guys, why don't we play the first thing starting from the first verse till the end of the chorus? I'm just gonna count along. I think you're familiar with the chords. Use your worksheet. It tells you exactly what chords to play at what point in time and how many times you're supposed to play them, okay? So try to follow along and if you can, rewind the video after you're familiar with the chord changes and try to play along. We're gonna play it slow, okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Chorus. One, two, three, four. 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 That's it. Now it looks easy, but I know too well that for a beginner, these chord changes can be a little bit of a challenge. I totally understand that even at that pace, it might have been a little bit too fast. This is where your metronome comes in handy. Set it to a very, very low pace, something you're familiar, something you're comfortable with playing along. There is no rush here. You have to start out slowly and gradually increase the speed. So I hope this was helpful. Again, in your worksheet, the chord changes are clearly indicated. Um, the chord, the, the, the way it's set up is, it's basically self-explanatory, but if you look at your sheets, you have the lyrics listed, and above the lyrics you see the chords, which indicate when you have to change from one chord to another. And a little number above the chord tells you how many times you're supposed to play that particular chord, okay? So if you have any questions, reach out to me. Let me know if something is unclear and I'll make sure that we will address your issue right away. Mm -hmm.